Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Luke Ness Monster back again with some more Black Series news. So, uh, before we do get into the news, though, if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel because it does really help me out a lot. So, first up in the news, we have some even better shots of the new Return of the Jedi Boba Fett that um, actually look like they have a nice helmet. So, if you guys didn't know, the new Boba Fett has just really warped helmets, they look awful. And uh, we actually have photos of one that looked really, really good. And so I'll throw those up right now. This guy actually looks insane. With the normal-sized helmet and everything, it looks amazing. So I really hope that most of the Boba Fett figures look like this. But from all the stuff I've seen, I've seen four different people have them, and they've all had warped helmets. So I don't have very much hope for this figure. And i just trying to think what Hasbro's like trying to think through here. Like, I don't get me wrong, I, I love that they're trying to get the helmets and everything more to scale by putting the head uh, sculpts underneath, but they just end up like this. I know I, we've had the same problem with the Stormtrooper and then the Clone Trooper, both having, like, uh, head sculpts underneath. You probably didn't see that, but both of those have had uh, warped helmets, and um, it's just super extreme on the Boba Fett to where it's super noticeable, and it's just not okay. Like, I, I like what they're trying to do, but it, it just absolutely ruins the figure anyway we do actually have photos of what the head sculpt underneath boba looks like and this is what it is so uh i thought this was interesting i don't know if this is trying to be like hair on him or just like extra plastic there to get the helmet to fit on his head right but um i was expecting them to use the head f the uh the head from the stormtrooper because it is just a uh, bald tamor morrison head so i was expecting them to use this but instead they use this new one which is all right that's fine um I don't know, you're probably not going to see it a whole lot, and I don't know if this is going to be good for customizers, just because of how weird that top of the head looks there, but, um, yeah. It is just nice to see what it actually looks like. We also have news that Hasbro put out this, like, survey on what people think of plastic-free, uh, packaging. And, uh, they showed some images here. These are, like, awful images, but it's the only ones that we have of some of their, like, rough drafts of what the packaging would look like. It is based on the Beskar Mando figure, and, um, they're alright. I just, uh, don't know what I think about it. So, uh, before I get into what I think about it, though, I just kind of want to go over w uh, what this means. So, first up, we have the older new box, or the older, like, red box figure right here. We have Padme, and then we also have the new box Han Solo. So, I will definitely move my camera so you guys you guys can see but um look at how much package so they switched from this one to this one there is so much more plastic here than there is here so that's a start on the side so much more plastic here than here there is plastic on the top and then uh and I'm just using this as reference because the other one isn't opened, but uh, there's pretty much a whole other film of plastic there. And I know most of, like, this box is hollow once you take it out. So all that plastic I just pointed out is from this extra piece here. But I guarantee there's more plastic in that extra piece there than is on the Padme box at all. So um, that just really strikes me as odd that they are trying to go for this plastic-free uh, packaging, even though they just switched to a new box that has, like, ten times more plastic. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. But, um, overall, I'm kind of against the plastic-free packaging. I do love that they're trying to save the environment and do their part, but I think, uh, it's bad for two reasons. One, it's gonna make so, it's, it's just gonna be so easy for people that, like, switch the, the figures out. They can just cut the bottom of the tape on the bottom of the box, slip out the package, slip in another figure, and then you can go buy a Mando and you actually open it. It could be just, a uh, Zori Bliss, as an example. And, um, you know, it's, it's just awful because you couldn't actually see inside the box to know what figure you're actually getting. And I just think that's awful. I think the window pretty much guarantees you're getting the right figure, and I think that's something that needs to stay there. Two, I think this would absolutely just ruin inbox collecting. I think one big part of inbox collecting is you actually being able to see the figure. I mean, what's the point? Like, if you can't actually see the figure in there, then it's just pretty much a box with Han Solo on it. Like, it doesn't... <laughs> there's You're pretty much just paying for a cardboard box. There's no point of inbox collecting at that point. And, yeah, I just think that just ruins inbox collecting, which is a large portion of people that collect Black Series and Marvel Legends. So I think that them going to plastic-free packaging would be good for the environment. It would just suck for inbox collectors. And while overall I wouldn't care because I actually take mine out of the box, but I also still display them in the box. So I, I just totally throw the boxes away if I, I couldn't see them in the box. I display them here and I like seeing them, but if I can't see them in the packaging, then what's the point of keeping the boxes in the first place? 
And I guess that kind of leads to more of like polluting the environment. If I'm throwing the boxes away more often with the plastic free packaging, am I re is it is it really helping save the environment if I'm throwing the boxes away more often than I was before? <laughs> anyway, that's just something I wanted to bring and up. And anyway, the last piece of news today, the uh, brand new Connor Jax comic book figure is actually not Connor Jax. And I totally butchered that name and it's all right. Anyway, but the uh, figure that's actually in the box is uh, this guy's name right here. I have no clue how to pronounce that and I'm not even going to try to. But uh, yeah, I think this is just a massive mess up by Hasbro. Probably the, at least I've heard rumors that they just didn't do their research on the figure and they were like well this guy looks like a cool figure from this comic let's uh, put this guy in and they just found the first google search for the name I don't know how true that is I don't know I'm sure Hasbro puts a lot of time and effort into their figures but um yeah I just think this is a massive mess up by Hasbro and um they did do like official posts saying that uh they are super sorry with what happened and they are trying their very best to uh, fix it and that pretty much the lore and the uh, actual figures and everything means so much to them and uh, they're trying their best to fix it which is really good I'm glad that they are actually recalling this figure and um, trying to fix it instead of just like turning around and pretending it didn't happen because I know uh, I've definitely seen some different companies that would do that they just like pretend it didn't happen like it's supposed to be like that and that's just not the right thing to do so I'm glad Hasbro's trying to fix it but I think this is going to be pretty hard for them to fix because it's not just the name that's wrong I'm pretty sure it's the like uh, the, the art on the box and then the bio of the figure as well is all wrong so they'd have to change the art the name and the bio which is quite a bit for this figure it'd pretty much be a whole re call for like the packaging and um yeah so my guess is that they're going to try to do this before this figure hits market so they're going to recall all the ones that they've already made for that and um so my guess is if you can get a hold of one of the ones that has the older packaging that has the typo it might be worth a lot of money so if you do ever get one of those uh try to sell it i don't i i don't know because of course it's not on the market yet but we don't really know which one's going to get shipped out more or if the old one is even going to get shipped out at all or what the new one even looks like yet so hopefully it uh is just a pretty simple fix but uh who knows anyway guys that is going to do it for this video if you did enjoy hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel because it does really help me out a lot and i'll see you guys in the next video